Welcome everybody to another edition of Bex Hybrid's PFR Report. I'm Jim Schwartz, Director of PFR and Agronomy. With me today, Jason Gayheimer, PFR Operations Manager. So Jason, this past spring, we shot a video not far from here where we were using a planter and we were planting in multiple row widths. And we talked a little bit about the project. So what are we doing here today? What are we learning? What are we researching as we continue this project? So today we're out here harvesting one of those fields. We've got 6158 AM out here, multiple populations. 20 inch, 30 inch rows. So we're utilizing Capello's new uh, all row gladiator head uh, here behind us to harvest these different row widths throughout the field utilizing one head. Um, and so it's very beneficial to us to be able to use the same planter which we did to plant the 20 inch and the 30 inch rows, but then also to be able to come in and harvest it with the same machine, the same corn head. Uh, it's very comprehensive for our data to get the best data possible out of the 20 inch and 30 inch rows to see what our economic optimum seeding rate is in those different row spacings. Any idea what we're going to learn this year through the through the data? Um, so we've, we've got some data in from our own PFR sites thus far and, and higher populations this year seem to be uh, paying pretty nicely on corn so uh, I wouldn't be surprised to see some of the maybe a little higher than normal planted population pay more so than what we typically see a lot a lot of that due to the, the extra rainfall we received and and this field was actually planted in in May uh, mid to late May so uh, surprisingly the yields I, I believe are going to be a lot higher as well because we just didn't have that typical heat stress in July that we normally do so I, I'm expecting to see some higher yields and some 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 higher payoffs for the higher populations in, in both row spacing. I was going to say, any idea about the row widths? I know we've got some data in so far. What do we think? Yeah, we've, we've got some data in from our PFR sites where we looked at 15 inch and 30 inch rows and 15 inch rows have, have come in pretty nice. So I really think the 20 inch rows out here are probably going to shine this year. Yep, I believe that too. So what, tell us a little bit more about this Capello head. What is this thing? Yep, so this head's designed to be able to take in any row width that you could possibly plant. So this is actually gonna come in very handy here in the future. So as most of you know, if you've watched any of our previous videos, we built a, a, an all new revolutionary multi-row with multi-hybrid planter to where we can plant 10, 20, and 30 inch rows throughout the field on the fly. And, and then this, that's where this type of head is going to be very beneficial in the future if something like that becomes commercially available. Uh, to growers to be able to harvest all those row widths with one head and so that's what we try to do in pfr is is look to the future and be revolutionary in what we're doing what we're testing and so we hope to see some good results out of out of putting multiple row spacings throughout a field to get the right row spacing the right hybrid the right population on every acre to maximize profitability but then also to be able to harvest it efficiently as well and so with this type of head uh, you can go crossways you can go down the rows. it's best to go at an angle or cross ways it feeds in much more efficiently smoother uh, but for this trial we're harvesting today we're going straight down the rows because we want to get data separately from the 30s and the 20s uh, but it's doing a nice job of being able to feed in both row spacings sure and so next year when we plan our 10s 20s and 30s we'll need a combine head like this to help us gather in that data and that's what we're trying to do at Bex in our PFR research program we're trying to do some of this research so you don't have to to figure out ways to help you succeed on the farm whether it's row width or population or variable rate seeding that's what we're going to continue to research to be out in front to generate that data to help you succeed down the road on your farm with Jason Gayheimer I'm Jim Schwartz don't forget to like and subscribe or comment below using hashtag AskPFR. Thanks everybody, have a great day.